eventually with persistence, somebody basically told us to go away and here's a hundred grand. Hello there beautiful people of the internet, Mr. Vance Painter here with another wonderful video coming to you from beyond anything. And yes, I know I continuously wear this hoodie. What is the hoodie guy? Well, let me tell you, this right here dates back a long, long time ago. And I'm going to be utilizing it because I made this so long ago as a clothing brand. This is actually LSNJ, Love Sex Dreams right here, folks. And there's plenty of this logo to come. So stay tuned. And based on these three letters right here, we are actually going to go into a little story. And it is a story about how we raised and lost a hundred thousand dollars. Yes, we lost it. You're broke? Huh? That's how did you get that? That's great, right? <laughs> but I was only 23. I'm 30 now. I'm an old man, but that's okay. That's for a whole different uh, story. Point is, we were doing things, and this was me and a group of dudes back in the music days, or at least some very peak music days in Dallas, Texas, right? Shout out to the Bobby Sessions and the TYEs of the world, still killing it out there, those dudes, man. Gotta love them, gotta love them. Links to their music down, down below, man. Mm, mm, mm. Gotta love it. Anyway, back to the story. So around the uh, ripe old age of about 17, 18 years old, well, probably even a little bit before that, point is, I went from trying to promote an artist at the time to proving I was an artist to show the artist how to promote an artist to going back to trying to promote an artist because it was the music business. Business, music business. Big word, business. Put it up on the screen, painter. Music business. Yes, folks. I decided to get into the business side of it and we did lots of interesting things. Heck, was on a part of a podcast before podcasts were even cool through shows, did all sorts of stuff. And the one thing that we were able to do because we were showing the social media marketing and all of this stuff, and we were going to investor after investor, how the heck did we manage to figure out how to get $100,000 from somebody? Well, I'm gonna tell you that right now. It was with sheer freaking will and no giving up. Now, it all started working at Lake Louisville. And what do you do there? You do dirty jobs for a bunch of rich people. Sure, it's a filthy job. Eye-opening, you might say. Because they all have boats, and they all have big boats, and you start to learn about millionaires and billionaires. And I was asking that question that you see on YouTube all the time of how in the world are you out here on a Thursday with these girls in bikinis on your yacht having a good old time? The age old answer was sales, but that's for another video. Point is, I was meeting all these people with money and I was trying to figure out how to live this lifestyle, but I wanted to do it in the music business and I wanted them to help me. So what did I need to do? Figure out how to get some of that money out of their pockets and in two hours and my group of musicians and business people. So we started putting together business plan after business plan, tweaking it taking advice, getting all of these no's, no after no after you're not ready, after this is a terrible idea, after a music business doesn't make any money, music doesn't make any money, any excuse that you could think of, I've already lost money doing this, whatever, all of the stuff, music's all right, music's okay, da 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 da, whatever. All we heard was no from so many people. We put damn near, it. well, you know what? It was at least a billion dollars in a room. Yes, we put multi, multi-million dollar people, right? Multi, multiple people with a net worth of over a million dollars, well over a million dollars in a room, in a room together. And they actually started doing business outside of our business that we were trying to conduct after they all said no to us. They had a billion dollars at least between all of them and they still said they wouldn't give us 
anything. Not a dollar. But yet somehow, we still kept trying to do this. I mean, this was the biggest no I think I've ever heard in my entire life. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Literally had to cry after getting said no to by so much money at a freaking hotel freaking bar that I could never even afford a drink at. And they were buying us drinks. Craziness. Point is, it happened, but it's okay. We got through that. And eventually with persistence, somebody basically told us to go away and here's a hundred grand. Don't call me anymore, please. This is a gift. If you do something with it, great. If not, don't wanna hear about it. So we got it. And then that's where everything went wrong. There are many renditions of the story of how it was all lost, but basically we just didn't spend it wisely. You should've, we should've, you, the guy who's actually talking to you through the camera, we all should have made a dang business with the money instead of trying to make a bunch of songs. Purely and simple. You take money and you make business so you can continue the music business, right? That is what we should've done and simple that was the hustle back then we messed up but you know what it was one heck of a ride the traveling the shows the people we met the times we had the shows that were thrown the events everything the memories will last forever and i am not worried about it because if i can raise it once at the age of 23 with a group of dudes who are all in like that i know it can happen again so y'all have a fantastic day don't you ever give up because i know it's out there y'all have a great day and i'll see you soon beyond anything mr vance painter like share subscribe hit the ding you know who it is we'll see you soon <laughs>